What's up, everybody? Go Burns showing off the Inverto Code Cap Blackfin, the brand new muscle car. That's right, it's a muscle car that came with Field Guide and Gains Part 2, listed for $695,000, making it officially the most expensive muscle car, not sports classic, in Grand Theft Auto Online. And that is the plot twist I assumed when I first saw the image of the Blackfin in uh, that article a week ago that it was going to be another sports classic and even this morning whenever I was you know driving around with Franklin in story mode I thought it was a sports classic but then when I went to the social club page and looked up the stats I could not find it in the sports classic section and to my shock to my surprise <laughs> this is actually a muscle car even though it looks like a sports classic so it's kind of bizarre and the back obviously looks like the Coquette Classic that came out with uh, San Andreas Flight School. And the front kind of sort of resembles the Casco from the Heist DLC. But it is surprisingly a very fun ride. It's a lot more fun than the Casco. <laughs> Plus, it actually has some customization features we're going to show you in Los Santos Customs. And I'm still baffled that this is not a sports classic because this would have been easily the best sports classic in that category. I don't know why Rockstar made this a muscle car. And I've had this debate, this discussion on several previous videos regarding some of their categories and the vehicles in this category and that category. But I digress. By the way, you can purchase these vehicles in story mode and try them out with Franklin, Michael, and Trevor before you buy them in online to save Grand Theft Auto money that you have been grinding and saving up. That's what I would do, especially if you have money with Franklin, Michael, and Trevor. That's what I would do first before you actually go and buy one of these vehicles. And check out the article linked below in the description section regarding the 25% rebate. That's right, a 25% rebate at Legendary Motorsports and the Ogotten Gains Part 2 article. You may want to read it, and you may want to do it before you actually buy one of the new rides today, because you might be able to save some serious money, especially if you got your eyes on the uh, T20, the brand new supercar, which is $2.2 million. You could save over five hundred grand. That's right. So you may want to check out that article. Link below in the description section. Back to the Blackfin. I think this is a very sexy ride. It's awesome. There's so many different customization features that come with this muscle car, which I'm still obviously trying to wrap my head around. But I accept it. I'm all about that. You know, I'm all about letting someone be who they want to be. You know, live the life they so choose. And if the Blackfin wants to be a muscle car, you know what? Who are we to argue, right? Right. Exactly. It's the age of tolerance. So this gets to be a muscle car. <laughs> a very nice muscle car. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, what do you think of the Blackfin? Do you love it? Do you hate it? By the way, uh, the uh, stats performance-wise for the Blackfin up against the Gauntlet, it has better speed and acceleration than the Gauntlet. In fact, it has the best speed and acceleration in the muscle category. However, the Gauntlet is better when it comes to braking and traction. To reiterate, once again, the Inverto Coquette Blackfin is not a sports classic. It is a muscle car. Officially the most expensive muscle car in Grand Theft Auto Online. FYI, coming up in just a few, we're going to be going over the Vindicator as well as the brand new boat, the Toro, and some other things that came with Ill-Gotten Gains Part 2 for all platforms on Grand Theft Auto Online. 